This example, 23 over 95 plus 4 over 5. Now, in order for me to add these two fractions, I have to make sure they have a common denominator. In this case, they don't. 95 is this denominator, and then 5 is the other one. So, I have to look for the common denominator. Now, for 95, I can either look for the LCM, the least common denominator, or least common multiple, between 95 and 5, or I can look to see, um, I can list all the multiples out and see the smallest common multiple. Now, I know that 95 is divisible by 5 because any number that ends in a 5 or a 0 is divisible by 5. So, in this case of 5, if this number is divisible by this number, then this becomes the new common denominator, the least common denominator. Or if you want to just do the factor tree to find the least common denominator, then you could do that too. So 95 is going to be 5 times 19. Now these are both prime numbers. I'm going to circle them. And then 5, it's just 5 and 1, right? Okay. So to find the LCD, I'm going to look for any factors they have in common. So here, there, there's a 5 here and a 5 here. So I'm going to cancel only one of them out. Okay, whenever they have something in common, just cancel only one of them out. And then I'm going to write all the numbers, all the circled numbers again. Okay, 5 times 19. And this is just the 1, so I don't have to write that. So 5 times 19, I know, is 95. So my LCD, my least common denominator, is going to be 95. So for this fraction here, since the denominator is already 95, I don't have to change it. So this one can stay as it is. This one, however, I have to change that 5 to make it a 95, so they, they'll have a common denominator, because that's the only way I can add these fractions if the denominators are the same. So for this fraction right here, Okay, I need to change it so that the denominator will become 95. Now I'm going to take this 95 divided by 5 to see what I have to multiply this by. And that's 19. Okay, so here I'm going to take this and multiply it by 19. And this will become 76. Okay. So 4 over 5 became 76 over 95. Now make sure you multiply it by the same number. You have to multiply the top and the bottom number by the same number. So that way you're not changing the fraction. You're just changing the numbers, but they're still equal fractions. Okay, so now I'm going to do 2395 plus 76 over 95. Again, I have to make sure the denominators are the same. If they're not the same at this point, then there's something wrong, so go back and check your work. Okay, but since they are the same, I can go ahead and add the fractions. 23 plus 76, I'm going to add the numerators together. If I add them, it's going, going to be 99. Now here, denominator stays the same. So it's 95 here, 95 here. So my denominator is going to become 95. So 23 over 95 plus 4 over 5 is 99 over 95. So that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching educator.com.